When I boarded the train, I could have sworn it was set to... It's just a service bot. Hello, Mr. Tibbetts. We've been expecting you. So, sorry about the suitcase. I was just running late. And, All within uh, expected and parameters, Mr. Tibbetts. Would you like some tea while I show you around? Wh wh where is everybody? Everyone is right this way, Mr. Tibbetts. Allow me to introduce you to him. I don't see you have any tea. I knew you wouldn't want any. Crane swindled me on dairy prices again, and they will have to come up with new names for the war crimes I commit and shove up your cow's asses. Okay. All right. Glad we could come to a deal. Good afternoon, John. Bob. Hey, no, wait, what are you doing? That's mine. for his appointment. This is a museum piece, you little metal trash can. Oh my god! Calm down! Oh my god! Remain calm. You're safe now. You just smashed that service bot to pieces? Shh, shh, shh. It's alright. I'm not gonna let Bob kill you. What? It almost killed He's you. He's a service bot. Murder's a kind of service, guy. Anything people want can be a service. Who sent you? Are you working with Bob? Uh, is, isn't he a company robot? You have to tell me if you're working with Bob. It is entrapment if you don't tell me. <laughs> I'm, I'm with the company! He's a company robot! Yes, I, I'm with the company! That's exactly what you don't get, guy. Wait, what's your name? My name is Tibbetts! What kind of name is Tibbetts? Well, it's, it's from my grandmother. It doesn't matter. J.P. Petard. And nobody works with the company. We all work under the company, Tibbetts, and Bob most of all. Well, I believe under or not, that still makes me his co-worker. It's all true, John. In fact, Mr. Tibbetts works over you. He's your new supervisor. He's what? No, 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 that's not right. I don't, I don't supervise. I'm an inventory manager. Since arriving, Mr. Tibbetts, you've received 16 but, promotions for your exemplary service. Congratulations. But I showed up late. That's not exemplary at all. On the contrary, you being here demonstrates considerably more initiative than John. Okay, now this is some shit. I do all kinds of stuff, and you're just always a nitpicky asshole about it. It's never, good job on the cat-girl hybrids, John. It's always, oh, the bioreactor has gone critical, John. The bioreactor has gone critical, John. You're critical, Bob. Put this in the pile. Do you believe in free will, Tibbets? Uh... This isn't a rhetorical question, because I bet when Bob found you, he offered you some tea. I don't see any tea in your hands. Well, I didn't want any tea. And Bob didn't have any. So why would Bob offer you tea? Well, he... Because Bob combed through all the data gathered on your psychological profile and it knew you didn't like tea, but would appreciate the gesture. Do you know where you are, Tibbets? Well, Mr. John, if I'm not mistaken... This is IL-99, and you, like most people, are easier to program than any machine. If I were you, I would turn around and go back where you came from. Wait, no, that's not right. I was assigned to... I'm afraid Mr. Tibbetts can't leave, Joe. Oh, really, Bob? I bet you $20 he can't. Critical staff are not permitted to leave during an emergency. The only one who's critical here is you, Bob! Run, run Tibbetts! Run or alone, Bob! $20! Okay. Okay. Oh, God! Uh, uh, uh. Aren't you gonna escape? Where do I go from here? Honestly, I don't know. I was hoping you would. Wait, you can't leave? Your causality has been irreversibly corrupted, Mr. Tibbins. My causality? What does that mean? Here we go. Thanks a lot, Tibbins. Here's the $20 I owe you. Please clear the obstruction from my exhaust vent, John. Can my causality get better? Could I lay down? Should I see a doctor? You will spend the rest of your life on IL-99, Mr. Tibbetts. Oh, cool. That's the same thing it says to me. My internal power source is beginning to overheat, John. Worth 20 bucks every time.
Don't, don't look at me like that. Since you're my eternity buddy now, I'll show you the ropes. Bathroom, wall where I play my games, potted plants and emergency bathroom, kitchenette, sink makes a good bathroom, the amalgamated master control and logistics center, emergency, emergency bathroom, ignore that for now. This is my bedroom, if there's a sock on the door, <laughs> you do not want to go in there, cause I have- How long have you been here? Time has no meaning on IL-99, Tibbets. 7.3 years, John. Oh, yeah. Like, seven years. So no one's ever come to find you? Or stop you from pooping in the sink? John, perhaps you should start Mr. Tibbetts with his duties in the stacks. Oh, that's a good idea, Bob. Let me show you the other room where you're going to be doing most of your duties. <laughs> we still do get deliveries sometimes, mostly scrap metal, uh, choking hazards, uh -huh. military surplus, yeah. you know, useless God. stuff. The cabins have begun to militarize, God. but I surrounded the meat cubes with a salt circle and it really doesn't seem to want to cross it anymore. Badges but, seem to hey, be holding, but, but uh, they keep running out of fucking Bob? batteries, you know, one step uh, after the other. There's, sometimes there's the tubes go the, out, John, I don't know where they go because there's, they're never there's a labeled, fire, John. but wherever it is, it's a bathroom now. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to my kingdom, Tibbets. Welcome to Isle 99.